college, there was a professor, he was a cellist, he had a sign on his window, and his sign said, music is love in search of a word. For me, music is love without need of word. I started playing, actually in seventh grade. Uh, my oldest brother, Dan, uh, was a drummer and had been for many years. He's 11 years older than I am. And uh, one day I was just messing around with the drumsticks and he realized that naturally I seemed to have some talent for it and was holding it. And he was like, you're a drummer. He actually went to the junior high direct band director and went to bat for him because as most people know, when you first go to junior high and you want to play in the band, they assign the instruments out and you really don't have a choice because as the band director said at that time, everyone wants to be a drummer. And my brother, who had won many awards and been nationally recognized at this time, uh, told him that I had a natural aptitude to do it and that I should be strongly considered for it and he would, he would fully endorse me and that I, the teacher would not be disappointed with that. So one of the first things we discovered about my playing is that I was actually left-handed. Of course, we knew I was left-handed before that because that's the hand I wrote with, cut paper with, and everything. Uh, but with drums, it's actually the direction the instrument leads from high pitch right to left or high pitch left to right. Left to right is actually right-handed. We did a little bit of filming me uh, in a drum shop. It's Don Bennett Drum Studio in Bellevue, Washington. Great drum shop. Uh, sort of the reason we did that is the fact that as a musician, as a drummer, you're always looking for the perfect sound, especially in cymbals. A jazz drummer, just there's always a perfect ethereal cymbal out there that you just haven't found yet, that perfect voice. We all want a certain voice to represent ourselves in our playing uh, and have that sound that we project. It's a part of the being an instrumentalist. You want that perfect sound that is yours and yours alone. And finding that is a never ending project. You're never done. Having said that, who am I and what am I doing with my career? Well, I'm someone who absolutely loves the instrument. I'm not doing it as a professional career. I will drum for the rest of my life because it's something I absolutely love.